so good morning good afternoon and good evening guys based on the time zones you all are coming from so guys before we start with the session can you all please give me a quick confirmation if you all can see my screen and hear me loud and clear as well perfect thank you for the confirmation everyone my name is neeraj kheria and i have been working in this id industry for more than 13 years now so before we get started let me share our edureka masterclass community with you all so this community of master classes was started back in 2019 and since then we have been closing into almost 31000 members so far and in these master classes we conduct more than 100 webinars and live events on different topics including blockchain iot artificial intelligence big data or rpa automation and multiple front end and back end development frameworks so these are a great platform for anyone who are looking to get started into this domain and knowing the technologies that we have to master before we get into that industry vertical so to be a part of this group we can click on join this group and then we would be notified with the entire schedule that we have planned for the month the main agenda for today's session we have gathered for a discussion on big data for analytics and bi so in this entire discussion we are going to focus on what exactly big data is and then we are going to discuss on big data as an opportunity and then we are going to discuss what exactly big data analytics is the type of big data analytics and then we are going to see what exactly are different analytical tools available and how big data analytics work and then we are going to discuss on the big analytics application and then what exactly we mean by bi tools and how business intelligence can benefit us when we are going to combine this with big data analytics all right so first of all before we start let's discuss on what exactly big data is so big data is basically working on large sets of unprocessed and raw data set to make sure that we are able to store it in the most effective manner and make sense out of it by processing it in the most effective way so that we can reduce the time of analyzing such large data sets so we know that again basically the large and complex as the data becomes large and complex it becomes difficult to process that data and and that too by using the traditional data processing applications for example we have let's say we have 100 terabytes of data that needs to be processed so either we can spend years on processing that data by using the conventional methods or we can reduce the processing time to few hours and even few minutes by using the big data components where we can store data parallelly in multiple systems and then we can process them parallelly as well to make sure that the entire results are going to be generated in the least amount of time as possible next if we talk about big data as an opportunity so we know that again there are multiple areas in which big data are being used and that too at a higher scale so first of all we have automated cars and healthcare solutions in terms of creating the next generation products then in terms of cost reduction it is it has multiple cost effective storage systems for huge data sets so that we don't have to spend more than what is required for storing hexabytes amount of data set and then we have for faster and better decision making where we can provide ways to analyze information quickly and help the companies in making a decision and then we have improved services and products where we can have a good evaluation of customer needs and satisfaction by analyzing a good amount of retail and user generated data so if we talk about big data analytics so it is basically a technique used to extract the insights which are meaningful such as the customer experiences of a store or product hidden patterns trends in the market and unknown correlation so we know that various companies and sectors all across the globe started adopting big data analytics in order to gain numerous benefits and big data analytics give insights which many companies are turning into actions and making huge profits as well and we are going to discuss on that itself okay how exactly this is this is currently being deployed all right so to summarize we can say we can define big data analytics as in what so big data analytics examines large and different types of data to uncover hidden patterns correlations and other insights 
so basically big data analytics is largely used by companies to facilitate their growth and development and this majorly involves applying various data mining algorithms on given set of data which will then aid them in a better decision making all right so they have different types of big data analytics available here so let's go through them one by one so first of all we have the perspective analytics then we have descriptive diagnostic and predictive so first of all if you talk about prescriptive analysis so basically it uses organization optimization and simulation algorithms to advise on possible outcomes and answers like what should we do so it allows users to prescribe a number of different possible actions and guide them towards a solution so we can say in a nutshell this analytics is all about providing advice all right so for example let's say what action should be taken now google self-driving car is a perfect example of perspective analytics it analyzes the environment and decides the direction to take based on the data being generated all right then we have descriptive analytics so in terms of descriptive analytics we can say that it uses data aggregation and data mining to provide insights into the past and answer what has happened so the descriptive analytics does exactly what the name implies as they describe or summarize raw data and make it interpretable by humans so we can say a small example is like what exactly is happening now based on incoming data so google analytics tool is a best example for descriptive analysis so a business gets reserved from the web server through the tool which helps understand what actually happened in the past and validate if a promotional campaign was successful or not based on basic parameters like page views so this is basically a good example for descriptive analytics then we have diagnostic analytics so in terms of diagnostic analysis it is used to determine why something happened in the past it is characterized by techniques such as drill down data discovery data mining and correlations diagnostic analytics takes a deeper look at data to understand the root cause of the event so a good example for this one would be why did it happen so for a social media marketing campaign we can use diagnostic analysis to assess the number of posts mentions followers fans page views reviews pins etc and analyze the failure and success rate of campaigns at a fundamental level we can easily do that and then at last we have predictive analytics so in terms of predictive analytics what we, what exactly it is it simply uses statistical models and forecast techniques to understand the future and answer what could happen so predictive analytics provides companies with actionable insights based on data and it provides estimates about the likelihood of a future outcome now a good example here can be for example the southwest airlines analyzes center census data on the planes to in order to identify patterns that indicate a potential malfunction and it allows and thus allowing the airlines to necessary repairs before it's scheduled so these are the are the four different types of big data analytics here now next move on to next part here we have big data analytics tools so there are multiple tools available in the market so although when we are working in big data we don't need to be proficient in every single tool even if we have the knowledge on a single tool for different stages then we are good to be called as a big data engineer so here we have tools such as edgebase spark talent splunk hive kafka hadoop big so these are the one of the most popular platforms and then in terms of now first of all we know about hadoop so hadoop does not do any analytics hadoop is basically a platform where we can build multiple analytical models and again hadoop is simply provides a base for the analytical jobs to be performed 
and talent is built on top of talents data integration solutions so basically it's an open source software and provides an easy to use the graphical development environment to the users then we have elastic so elastic search relies on flexible data models to build and update visitors profiles to meet the demand of low latency required for real-time engagement and then we have Apache Storm. So Apache Storm is used for real-time big data analytics with fault tolerance and fast data processing. So Apache Storm also makes it easy to reliably process unbounded streams of data, doing for real-time processing what Hadoop did for batch processing. And then we have Spark. So Spark is an open source, scalable, massively parallel in-memory execution environment for running analytics application. So Apache Spark is a lightning fast unified analytics engine for big data and machine learning. And then we have Cassandra. So Cassandra is basically used for storing and curing large amounts of high performance data. And Cassandra is, to, is used to visualize large amounts of data and that too at a rapid scale. So now to understand how exactly the big data analytics work so there are four steps that is in that are involved in the entire process for big data analytics we have to first of all collect data then we have to work on processing that data then we have to work on cleaning that data and then we have to work on analyzing that data as well so processing so collection processing cleaning and Analyzing these four are the main parts of big data components. Now, in terms of application, there are multiple applications available here. Now, in, there are two in different domains. So, we have big data applications in banking, manufacturing, life sciences, government, or in retail, healthcare segments. There are multiple segments that we have to focus on, and they all and we have big data experts in their own domains because they are familiar with how exactly the data is currently being generated for example if you talk about banking now banking is one of the main sectors where big data is used for example banks and financial services use analytics to differentiate fraudulent interactions with from the legitimate in business transactions so the analytics system suggests immediate actions such as blocking irregular transactions which stops fraud before it occurs and improves profitability. Then in terms of manufacturing sector, then we have multiple advantages in manufacturing as well. So for example, all these sectors where, where the goods are being produced, we can know okay, what exactly has been the power loss, what exactly has been the data for the scrap products. And again, what, what actually results in that particular data by studying data in terms of the machine data on the final r d department so that we can improvise the production of the of different manufactured goods to reduce the wastage then in terms of life sciences we have multiple here for example if you talk about life sciences itself then again in terms of creating and again in terms of r d it helps a lot and especially in terms of for example if we combine this with edu with education then it offers a good learning tool instead of a traditional lecture methods and again where, where we can simply perform all the r d's as effectively as possible even in the government sector now for example the indian government use big data analytics to get an estimate of trade in the country and then use they use the central sales tax invoices to analyze the extent to which states trade will each other then we have use case in retail including e-commerce and in stores which are widely using the big data analytics component to optimize their business. For example, we know Amazon, Walmart, they are have been extensively using it. And then we have healthcare. So healthcare is, has been using big data analytics to reduce costs in protection of epidemics, avoiding preventable diseases and improving the quality of life in general. So one of the most widespread applications of big data in healthcare is electronic health records as an ehrs so it is simply revising the efficiency with which hospitals can work so next we have business intelligence so we know business business intelligence is basically 
a part of big data which is a technology driven process for analyzing data and repre and presenting the information to make more effective decisions and what can business intelligence do for big data that's a big question so big data provides information outside a company's own data sources and it is basically a component of business intelligence offering a comprehensive view into the process and big data makes up and um, simply to make up the information which will lead to business intelligence insight and then if you talk about again so this is what we have as a part of the business intelligence use cases available here thank you so much for joining and have a great day ahead take care bye bye